Joining us today for primetime local news is Roseanne Duchak, the chairperson of the committee for the Terry Roland Trunk Show. Thank you so much for joining us today, Roseanne. Thank you for having me. Of course, glad to be able to speak with you and help get the word out ahead of time because this event will be coming up near the end of the month here and uh, time flies. So starting off, just explain exactly what this trunk show is all about. This is a trunk show bringing in Terry Rowland, who is a, a quilter who likes to go out and about teaching about her quilting, um, her love of it. She travels around teaching different quilting techniques and brings quilts with her to share in this trunk show. And as she presents and shows these quilts, she might tell a story about it or why she made this particular one, what might inspire her to make that one, and hopes by showing these techniques, she inspires others to do the same. Now, would you say the committee has had these events before in the past, or is this the first time? It's the first event with Terry Rowland, but the Guild has had a lot of different classes throughout the years, quilt shows throughout the years. So particularly this a trunk show, I believe is the first one that we have had. And the first time that we have had Terry come out. Well, it sounds like it's going to be a great event. Now, what exactly is the Guild for people who aren't really aware what the committee is all about? Are you based in Vermilion? Yes. The Guild has been going for, I believe it's 25 to 30 years already. I haven't been a member that long. For, uh, the average probably is 25 to 30 people, although there have been more. And we get together, not always that amount of people, but we get together starting out in September twice a month and just get together to sew and share projects and enjoy quilting and enjoy visiting. And what would you say was the inspiration for the committee to host this Terry Rowland Trunk Show? We have started to see her uh, different projects, different classes that she has done. And what really inspired us to start this was the trunk show itself with her bringing all her projects because she's a prolific quilter and just is amazing with her, with her color techniques, with her quilting, with everything about her is just amazing. Now, just expanding a little bit more on the information for the event, where and when exactly will it be? It's going to be September the 29th at uh, the Parkview Alliance Church at 7 o'clock in the evening, a $10 admission. So it's going to be a lovely evening for just $10. So we're hoping to see a lot of people. It's, it's not just people that quilt, per se. It can be anybody that is interested in any kind of work because these definitely are works of art. Quilting is artwork and you will see that with hers. And like what you just brought up there for people that are interested, but they're not very much quilters themselves. What would you say would inspire people to want to attend this event and check it out and why quilting is such a nice hobby? She, some people might think of a quilt as, as just a blanket, a quilt. It's, it's patchwork. It's pieces sewn together. What Terry does is artwork like she has one particular quilt she calls it i believe the blue elephant well it's an elephant and done in many different shades of blue and that's not a traditional quilt that's that's an artwork yeah quilt work quilting is not just sitting and quilting a few pieces together to make a bed quilt it's just everything from big bedside quilts to runners to wall hangings to well, these, like I said, the, her blue elephant is going to be, I think, standing out with all of hers, all of her quilts. Well, I agree with you there. That does sound like very beautiful artwork. And I've always really thought it's so impressive what quilters can do and just uh, everything that they can come up with. I think it's very beautiful. So once again, thank you so much for joining us, Roseanne. And I really hope you see some great support for this event. Yes, thank you very much. I hope to see a lot of people there.